Have you ever wanted to boost the efficiency of your amplifiers by providing harmonic terminations but did not have multiple impedance tuners to characterize this effect? Or passive impedance tuners quickly ran out of the tunable range and were simply not able to present the desired harmonic load impedances at the edge of the Smith chart? Well, I'm glad to tell you that your search is over because all this and more is possible with Mori Micro's fully active vector receiver load pool solution. Hi. I'm Jonas Urbanas, I'm a senior product engineer with Mori Microwave and I'm standing next to our fully active vector receiver load pool solution that enables harmonic load pool with reflection coefficient magnitudes up to and even beyond one and which is powered by our IVCAD software platform, our AM3100 series PAV system and the Rodian Swartz 43 series ZNA. Load pool measurements are used to characterize microwave transistors and power amplifiers under large signal operating conditions by presenting a set of controlled load impedances to a device under test while measuring a multitude of device parameters at each impedance state. VNA-based load pool is the most accurate load pool measurement methodology where low loss couplers are used to directly measure the incident and reflected waves at the DUT reference planes, thus enabling computation of various device parameters such as delivered input power, power gain, power added efficiency and others. Broadly speaking, there are two impedance control methodologies used during local measurements, active and passive. Passive impedance control relies on the use of passive impedance tuners whereas active impedance control relies on active signal injection back towards the DUT on its output to accurately synthesize the desired load reflection coefficient. The active impedance control enables the reflection coefficient synthesis anywhere within the Smith chart at fundamental and harmonic frequencies and does not suffer from the impedance tunable range reduction associated with power dissipation in passive load pool systems. One potential downside of active harmonic load pool is the need for multiple synthesizers to generate the active signals at fundamental and harmonic frequencies that will be injected towards the DUT during the load pool measurement. Rodian Swartz 43 series ZNA solves this issue by integrating four separate individually controlled RF sources for each of the ZNA ports, thus enabling fully active load pool with fundamental, second and third harmonic control from a single instrument. Let us see it in action. We will first bias our device. Then we will set the desired input power for our load pool measurement. And finally, we will define the impedance pattern we wish to present to our device under test. Let's get started. Fully active harmonic vector receiver load pool measurements can be easily performed using IVCAD the industry's premier device characterization and modeling software suite, powered by AMCAD Engineering. After correctly configuring the instruments and performing the system calibration, we can initialize the setup and perform load pool measurement. We first set the second and third harmonic terminations to their optimum values and leave the fundamental unchanged, as it will be swept to obtain load pool contours. Then we bias our device. In this demonstration, a bias optimization feature is used, allowing to automatically set the device QS and bias point. After that, we need to define the desired load impedance pattern that will be presented to our device under test, configure the drive power, and start the measurement. During the measurement, all the device parameters are computed in real time, listed in the table on the left-hand side of the measurement window, and plotted on a Cartesian plot. Moreover, the DUT input and load impedances are measured for each power level and plotted on the two Smith charts at the top of the measurement window. After the measurement is finished, we can analyze the measurement data using IVCAT's advanced data visualization tools and plot the device parameter contours against the desired gain compression value. To summarize, Load Pool is a powerful tool to characterize the behavior of a device under test under linear and nonlinear operating conditions as a function of load impedance. Mori Microwave's fully active harmonic vector receiver load pool methodology allows to quantify the effect of harmonic termination impedances on the device performance at fundamental frequency and enables computation of various device parameters from vector measurements of incident and reflected waves at the calibrated DUT reference plane. Furthermore, fully active harmonic load pool measurements can be substantially simplified by the use of Rodian Swartz 43 series ZNA as it offers four integrated, individually controlled sources that can be employed for active signal injection at fundamental and harmonic frequencies. For more information on this or any other device characterization solution, visit moriumw.com or contact your local field engineer. Thanks for watching.